Hello everyone, today we are back in EverQuest. This is Hans and we are going to head over to Kinos to talk to Norisa and make sure she understands that her sister is not dead and it is because they had followed me. Also we need to ask her about the cane because that is something that Melia ended up talking about. But we are going to head over there now. <laughs> Ich schau ins tiefe Tal hinab ins schöne Land Tirol. Ich seh die weißen Nebel ziehen, die Sonne scheint ins Gwent. Tiroler Land, mein Heimatland, ich lieb dich ohne Ende. Um keinen Streit der Welt, solange auf meinen sicheren Schuss ein ganz Bock runterfällt. Die Berge sind mein Gotteshaus, der Jodler mein Gebiet. Ich hoffe, dass der Herrgott mich und mein Gebiet versteht. Oh, 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 oh. Und lieb die Blär mal heiß Den Eumarasch und den Zian Und auch das Edelweiß Den Jodler und den Zitterklang Hör ich fürs Leben gern Jetzt hört's mir zu dir lieben Leid Jetzt wird's ein Jodler hören Oh, 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 oh Begrabt ihr mich im Tal herum, dann steig ich selber rauf Und jodle noch aus voller Brust vom Berg ins tiefe Tal Hinaus ins schöne Alpenland zum allerletzten Mal oh, 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 oh. Okay, we are now in Kinos. Let us find Narissa and let her know of her sister's death. Isn't this weird that every time we do a quest now, we are telling somebody that her sister has died or the brother or whatever it is. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check the track. There is Lashon. We don't need to talk to him right now. So once we do this, once we tell her she's going to cry on our shoulder or whatever, or maybe another girl will try to kill her. And we are not going to intervene this time because we know that we are going to die, which is bad. So let's try to see if we can find her. Where are you? There's a, one thing that I think they should change or that I need to try to find is a way that I can um, change the color of the background. So let's see here, Larissa, oh, it's actually not L, it's in. So let's see if we can see her. Oh, I see her right here. Let's track her. And it says she is ahead into the left. So this is where we are going. Straight, there she is. So let us talk to her and we are going to say some comforting things to her. Larissa. I talked to your sister, Milia, and she told me to bring her this cloth, but after she gave me the cloth, she died to a god, and so did I, but don't worry about that, I am back, I am alive. So I have this for you, and I am very sorry for your situation. Here you go. Okay, I guess I sing, and it says here, thank you, my friend, I understand that 
um, let's see, Asted Lerman of the Temple of Life has been <clears throat> concerned for a while for uh, for certain concern for my well-being. Take this note to him. Note, and uh, I am not sure. I'm not sure he will reward you for easing my troubles. Oh, we also need to ask her, say, uh, Kane. She moved. Maybe she said something. She did not. Okay. So Kane does not mean anything to her. And the person that we need to turn the note into is um, Astiad. Let's go over to the Temple of Life. So that is going to be over here, and it is very cool over here. So we need to find uh, this person. Let's track and see if we can find them. Is there a way a distance? Um, let's see. There is no alphabetical. Let me see if the normal is alphabetical. No, it is not. Okay, mm, that is not his name. Let's see, Astro. He's got to be here, but there are so many peoples. There is other. Uh, there is another place over here as well. Let's check in here first. Hello. No, none of these people. I am not seeing him here. This is interesting. I saw a person with the same last name whenever I was on my way. To the uh, to the hidden area, so I may talk to him after we get down. But other than that, we are going to check up in here, which is a teleporter that leads you up. Oh, is this him? This is him. So let's just turn in the note. Let's read it though, because we are we are very nosy. Please reward this per this good person. They have earned, uh, they have eased my pain by contacting my sister Amelia for me. Okay, that's just nice. Let's turn that in. Oh, we get an axe. It's a two-hand bronze one. This is either good for money or we can use it as a weapon. Now, we have also a note that we need to take over to Cassius and he is the bard. He should also give us some information, but we do want to talk to this person over here first because I have seen them. Uh, let's see here. Hail. Oh, we do need to scroll down again. Oh my goodness. Hello, Hans. I am Phileas Sword Dancer, traveling, uh, traveling historian and storyteller. Would you care to hear my story? Hear a story? Not right now, then. I thought you were going to tell me something else, like you wanted me to talk to your brother or something. Maybe you will. We will come back to you. We know where you are now. So we also want to talk to Sneed or check on Sneed's house to see if anything is spawned there. Because we know that every time we come over here, this the rat that he wants me to kill is never up. So we're going to go up there again, and we're also going to go around. You're so a rat. You never have the things. Oh, you know what we could do is we could check out the two-hand axe. We're going to put this. Oh, my goodness. It is so dark up here. I am very sorry about that. So we're going to click on the so a rat, and we are going to attack him, taunt him as well. I kill you. Oh, he hits me first, though. Do not kill me. That was be wrong. We are not skilled as this weapon yet, so we are going to miss a lot. Oh wow, he is hit very hard there. So what we will do is, oh, he is running. He is running in a weird pattern again. So what we will do is change back to our weapon, just so that we can get him killed because he is a little squid. Oh, he is now attacking us again because he is. Oh, he got some life back because he was walking for so long. There he goes. Please have a head on you, even though you are not what you are, has, what he is asking for. I do not know. Is there something that I need to click here? Let's just click everything. Right and left click it. Okay, I do not see him. I'm not hearing him either. 
right and left clicking everything. Oh, wait, there's a little lamp here. It's kind of weird. Also, we could go check the outside of the house and see if there is a thing there. We are also out of food and drink, so we are going to buy some stuff. Now, I am not attacking, just to make sure. Okay, we are going to save this, I think. I want to keep this, especially since it is our strongest weapon at the moment. The only problem is that we cannot see anything. Okay, let's buy some foods. If you have some. Okay, we are not going to buy the iron rations. We are just going to buy the regular ones. So, if he has some, let's get some water. We got some water, and we still have a little more. Oh, we have another platform. That's very cool. So, let's see. Rations are a... I am only seeing the iron. I am not seeing the regular. Well, we'll take the rations, I guess. It's just a lot of money, though. Of course, we do not have enough money. It's three platinum for that? That's too much. Do you have anything else that is not so expensive? Here is a ration. Okay, that was very cheap. That was only two silver. So that is what we're going to drink and eat. Okay, we are done here. Let's go over to the Cassius and turn into note and see what he gives me. Oh, we were also going to check out to see if there is anything else around the house. So let's do that real quick too. Oh, there are the barrels here. Let's check them. Nope, nothing there. And nothing back here. Okay. At least we tried. So we go back to Cassius now and see what he is giving us for the notes. He should be right over here. There he is. We're going to hand him the note just to make sure. Note to Cassius here. Turns that in. And we got some experience. And we also got some money there. But we also get a spell, which is a level 6 bard spell. I wonder if that's going to give us any money. Okay, we are almost to level 4. So we may finish that up before we go on our journey. Let's see, are any of you merchants? Ah, oh, she is a merchant. Let's see what this says for. Oh, it says for one platinum. That is not bad. Okay, we are getting rich. We should go ahead and bank again. That way we can do all of that before we leave. And then we are going to get level four and head on to the, to not the Everfrost. That is too far away. Actually, this is long, that is not as far as where we are actually going. We're going to go to East Common so that we can take the boat over to the Fadar. And then in Fadar, we're going to talk to the dwarf. We're also going to do some quests there because there are some um, orcs, I think they are. And they drop these belts, and you can turn those in. Also, we can take some uh, bone ships that we get, and we can um, use those. Oh, we got four, four platinum now. We are getting now. We need to get to probably around 50 or 60 platinum so that we can get a better armor set. Actually, we really don't have any armor except for the cloth, but we will be able to get the um, chainmail style armor. And also, there are merchants and people that will sell the armor uh, along the way, maybe. We cannot afford the good armor stuff, so. So we are going to head back over here, and we're going to kill a little bit before we go. Let's just see where we are now. We are only three, uh, three blue, uh, yellows away. Okay, this is the wrong way to go. We need to go on the side of the blue house yells. Okay, we are zoning. So I think this time we are going to only kill the click knacks. This way we can get a better experience and get to that level 4 faster. If it is turning the daytime, then we will use the daytime to use our tool. Oh, it is the daytime. Let us level up our 200 axe then. Let's do this here. Thank you. And if we need more light, oh, we are going to hide the bodies because that is a thing. We don't want the bodies on the screen. All right, we have a clicker coming up here. Actually, it is a fire beetle. We're going to use that. Let's see if we do any damage to him. We are doing so much damage to him right now. 
<laughs> which is nothing. Oh, we hit him for 18 damage. This was a great item. We could use that quest again, but really it is not worth it. I am not going to loot that stuff anymore. I think the only things we would loot are like the eyes. Or if there is anything else more special. Once we leave here, actually we should take some eyes with us. Because this is really the only place next to Freeport that has the eyes. If we take them over to the um, to the Greater Phadox, the druids require the eyes for a spell. And that way we can make some monies that way. Okay, you need to hit him now because we are dying. Okay, there we go. So do you have an eye? He does not have an eye. I'm going to also get some bombs because we can turn the bombs into Kaladin and they will give us not only some experience but they will give us some armor as well. So we definitely want that. I don't know if this is actually better but we are getting skilled by using this weapon so it is not a bad idea to use it. Oh, we got another cloth piece. That will give us some gold. Hello, Sean. You are always crazy just standing out there. We hit him for four. I think once we get to around half health, then we are going to change up to the other weapon because we do not want to die. It is odd. I am not seeing any points here for the 200. Oh, there we are. We are now at the 200. Um, we got the two points into it now. We are at 50% health. We need to go ahead and change the weapon up. Because we did hit him and we did not hit him for very much. Now we will hit him most of the time. And it will be faster. Nice. Oh, uh, no eyes. We need the eyes. So between the, the breaks, because we are low health, we are going to kill the skeletons. I feel this is the better way to go. And while it is not as much experience, it is experience. You need to die. Die now. Good. Give me your stuffs. <laughs> okay. Now we could use a weapon that we have, and we could use it towards getting the armor that we want. There are sometimes the peoples that will fight the um, the barbarians, and they drop the the the, the scale type armor. The I don't know what it is called right now. I don't think it is chainmail. I think it's something else. Okay. <laughs> I think it is always funny how the gnolls are always fighting the skeletons because they get nothing out of it. Are you leveling up? Are you level 50 yet? You've been fighting them all the time. They are crazy. We take weapons too because weapons will sell very well. We are now at 50%. He is fighting another skeleton. Let's kill the pop. So we can get the rewards. Of course, if the skeleton hits him, oh, he is now hitting me. And if we can hit this guy, we are now being hit by both of them. And we will get the experience, even though they killed each other to a certain point. Okay, you die now. Come on, one more hit. The good thing is, is that the skeleton cannot hit me. Okay, he is dead. I got the experience for it. I'm going to taunt him just because I should. Now we get to re oh, we get a shot. We are going to have more money than we can use very soon. Okay, we are now again at 50% health. Oh, the queen is out. We should stay clear of here, but we do need to get to fire beetle eyes so we can sell them. I don't know if they will sell very well, but maybe we can get a platinum or five. Whenever we go over to the uh, Fedark. The, they are dying faster with this weapon than with the other one. Okay, the eyes are not a thing that is happening today, apparently. 
They do not like me. Okay, I see a... Oh, that is an even con. We can take him, but we need to get some more house. Dare Duck Paw. Okay, let us get to house form. If he hits us very hard, then we will run for the guards. But for now, I think we should at least try him. And we are, we do have a fast weapon. Oh, he is hitting very, not too bad. We just need to hit him more. Okay, not one time per swing. Okay, he is now hurting us. Come on, swing at him more. You are doing a terrible job. This is not doing well. We will fight him until we absolutely have to run. Which I think would be before 30%. Ouch. We are now at 30%. Okay, we hit him by backing up. That was kind of nice. We hit him again. This is probably the way that we need to do this. Okay, that didn't actually work for me that time. We are going to run. This will give us some hit points. It may give him some hit points too. But at least we are trying to get some uh, get the ability to try to fight him and kill him. We'll get up to this corner here. And then once we do that, we will try to fight him again. And if he ends up uh, hurting us again one more time, we are going to have to run for the guards. Here he is. We got to jump on him with damage. He has now got us down to 20%. We are at 14%. We have to run. So we are going to do that. We're going to run. And we are going to stop, turning, <laughs> stop just standing there and let him die. It was great though. We were able to get him down pretty low. And that is what we are trying to do. Is just get to a point where we can do that. I'm going to rest for a moment. Okay, I am back up in Sneeds, and the rat has respawned, so we are going to kill him again. Also, I went ahead and saw the things that I had, and I got some bandages. This way we can try to heal up a little bit more. We can only heal up to 50, though. I don't think we can go past that, other than the warrior and the monk. Um, he is not the rat that we are looking for, I'm pretty sure. But we will keep trying to get him every time that we come by here. But for now, we must leave. I am not level 4 yet, but I feel that if we stay here, it is going to take us forever to get anywhere. So we are going to head straight over, even though we did not... Oh, we are going to try to fight one or two more click necks and see if we can get at least one fire beetle eye. And set them for at least the amounts that the guard will set them to us for. Uh, which I think is like five gold. If I can get more than that, that it will be very nice. But if not, then I understand. Okay. Give me your eyes. Your lovely, lovely eyes. We are back at 50% health now. Which isn't bad, because we uh, were able to get up to like 60%. We got an eye. We will kill one or two more. And then we will go ahead and turn them in. Ooh, that is a bag in my hand? I do not like that. Let's we'll just put that in our inventory. Give me your eyes too. So what I plan to do is, um, instead of walking all the way back over to Karana's and showing you that, I am just going to get there. And then from South Karana, we will head all the way over to the East Karana's. But I don't think we are going, uh, I'm sorry, not to the East Karana's, but to the East Commons. But we may not make it all the way there today. We have to take it in 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 stride as to, far, to how far we actually get. And we've got to be careful. Because if we do die, we will end up back here again. Okay, we got two eyes. So we are going to put those eyes into our, uh, our fletching kit here. And it is okay if we do not learn the fletching until we actually get over to the the uh, the greater Fadark. 
because that is where all the good archers are, and they can teach us everything. Okay, so we are now in the Susquehannas at the bridge, and I wanted to talk about a few things. So, if you were to go to the east, which is in this direction here, if we actually it's like southeast, either way, if you go in that direction there, you will find that there are trans, and they are along the wall. You can go and talk to them. They are very cool, and they like people like me because I am a ranger. I am a protector. If you go to the other way and you follow along the wall, there is a portion where there is a mean guy. He is a troll, and he will spawn every 20 minutes or his placeholder will, which is a lion. Either way, whenever you kill him, he drops a bag, which is of the lion, and then he also drops a ring of the shadows, which makes you invisibilized, and then you can walk around and not be seen by certain creatures. Of course, that is not the same for the undead, because the undead, they have their own invisibles that you have to use, which is called invis versus undead, or IVU is what people call it here. There's also all kinds of crazy monsters and things in the zone. We have the undead, like I said, the treants. Also, you have the aviax and the centaurs. So there's all kinds of things that you can see here. And you can see instead of going the way that we did last time, which is over to the angle where we go over to the bard, we are going to this time go straight. Now, for a lot of people, you may be saying, you are crazy, Hans, because you should not go this way. It is not the safest. It is okay, because I trust myself and I understand these lands a little bit better than you do, because I am a strider. Okay, so we are going to go over to where this blipot is, and I want to show you that. Also, you need to be very careful because of all the gnolls. And you see this this white gnoll over here? He is very different than the rest of them. He is an escape split pawn gnoll, so he is not exactly hating you, but he is also threatening you, so you've got to be careful of him. So just make sure that you watch out for those guys. What you want to do is you just want to kind of walk where the horizon is staying even, and then you also have this here. We're going to go off this hill, and we are going to say another hill where it is kind of tapering off as well. Hopefully at that point we will start to see the split pole, but we are going to go this direction still. The other thing that you will find here is there is a place where the centaurs actually live, and you can trade with them. They actually have a quest you can do, and we might, oh, we might go check that out. But you'll see over here that we are going to come to an area where the trees are going to a mountain again, I think. Unless I am in the wrong place and I am then completely lost. There is also a KFC or the Kentucky Fried Chicken, the place where all the AVX would spawn. And they actually have their own place as well and a merchant that you can talk to. There is a person or a beautiful thing that flies around in this area too. She is called the uh, Pegasus, the Quillman. And if you can get her to spawn, she is very beautiful, but people like to kill her because she drops a cloak. And it is a cloak of the feathers or something like that where you can fly. Okay, you see how this mountain is tapering? This makes us know that we are in the right place. So in that quest to get her to spawn, you have to make sure that you um, kill all the lionesses. And so you need to do that. Also, there are the elephant calves that you have to kill, and that will actually get her to spawn. So you see how this is coming down? This means that we should be really close to the split paw. Unless, again, I am very mistaken and I am in the wrong place. It couldn't happen very easily here. We should probably be tracking, though there is nothing around us. Actually, this is the mountain that I've been looking for if we go this way, because it shows that there's two mountains coming together. They really are not mountains. They are more hills. They are coming together. This will show us to the split part area. And it's very cool. It is a place where all the split pod knows that I was talking about last time. Oh, well, here is a lioness. This actually shows us that we are in the right area. And we do need to check the shuttle. The shuttle is Amelie, so that is cool. She is not going to attack me. So we are coming over here, and I am still seeing that there is no split pause. So we are probably already completely lost. 
hopefully we are not but if we are then it is expected because I am I am low level and it means that I am probably going to die soon so let's just turn this way maybe and we will find it if not then that is okay we will find our way we will not die I hope I would think so you can see there is a very big elephant there and you see how this is turning to sand it means that we are completely in the wrong place we need to head over this way and this will actually leave us, uh, lead us over to the Aviac village you should not see the sand if you see the sand you are getting too close to the border and if we head this way we might even see where the uh, there is a house it is surrounded by walls and the guy in there, he is a hermit, and he does not like people. We can check to see what level he is. And if he has two high levels, then that is okay. We will not attack him. Okay, here it is. Here's the house that I was talking about. This doesn't mean that we were completely off. Now, if you go over here, there is a place that you can sit down, and that is one of the places where the equipment spawns. I think she can just spawn. She does not have to be uh, in the cycle. You don't have to complete the cycle for her to spawn. But the cycle just abs uh, helps her spawn because if she is respawning when other, another mob is despawning. So this right here is where the hermit is. So we're going to track him. Let's track. You can see the hermit here is red. So we are not going to go in there. But he is locked behind a door, and I think the only way you can open that door is as a rogue. And, by the way, this is where you would sit. You would look in this direction, and you would see the cool main spawn over here. As far as Splitpaw goes, Splitpaw is now directly in the north. Uh, well, actually, let's see. You have the west, north. Yes, this would be the north over here. And if we keep going in this direction, we are going to find the um, AVX. And that's actually where we are trying to go. Because once we find the AVX, we will be over where the door is to go to, um, to, go to the Lick Res. So let's see here. I think we need to go this way because we are starting to get too much to the mountains. And you can also see here is an AVX. But... It is weird how this whole place is laid out. It is a very big plains. That is why it's called the Plains of Karanas. But you will see that we will come uh, hopefully to the to the place where the uh, the birdies are, and it should be right up in this direction here. Because this is a wall of mountains, you cannot go past it. We are now coming up. It should be right up here. Now that we can see this mountain here. We should see it, I hope. Uh, there is a little tower thing, so we should have it up in front of us, or it will be past the seal. I am not always remembering where everything is, but I do have a basic idea of where everything is, and that is all that you really need, to be honest. If you were to go up to the where, to where the Aviac village is, and you were to take a... a uh, right kind of angle you will find the split power also but I'm not going to show you that today because it is not important it is not part of our, uh, our travels even though I wanted to try to show it to you it is okay if we do not find it so over here we should be finding the village because we have this little hill here that leads over to where we are actually going to be going here it is Okay, let us move on. So now that you know where the where this place is, which you probably do not know by the way that I ended up going, the reason I did not follow the wall, which a lot of people would suspect that you would want to do, is because there are shadowmen, and the shadowmen they are around level thirty or so, twenty or thirty, and they run like the like the bards do, so they are very fast. But whenever you see this village, you come over to this hill here, and it will bring you into a a corner, and you cannot um, you cannot escape it. It will just push you into that area. So you can see it over here. This is actually the place that we are going, and this will leave leave us over to the race mountains. Or, I'm sorry, it's the race lake. Oh, there is a little dwarf. He is cutie. 
So let's just go on and zone here and I will meet you in the Licorice. Okay, so you may be saying, but Hans, you are coming over to the Licorice at night. It is very dangerous here. And that is true because you will see that there are undead over here and it is very hard to get around them. But what you can do is you can come over here and hopefully we do not mess this up because we will die. You come up to the corner here and you will find that you can get over this way. And there is nothing that spawns in this tent, I hope, uh, because that would be a, that would be bad. It, there is nothing here. So then you will go all the way down and you would fall into the water. Be very careful. You do not want to hurt yourself. Now, we do not have very fast swimming, so we are going to talk a little bit about the zone. There is a place that you can go in here around level 20, and it is near where the arena is, and there are AVX there. They're bigger, much bigger than the ones we just saw, and they are going to be good for around level 20 to 24, if not higher or lower than that. Also, in here, there are other quests. There is, I believe, the cleric quest that, start, that can start here, or you can leave it to the second part. Also, there are other quests that I know of, like there is a wizard temple of flux stuff that you have to get. I think it is a stone heart or something like that, or a stone rod, and that will come from here. As, as far as the clerics, there is a place that we probably will not see because it is so dark in the area. But there is a temple that kind of is on its own island. And on that island, or actually under the island, is where you will find these goblin underwater guys. And they will do very much damage to you. But if you were to find and kill the, the burglar, I think is what his name is and you get his crown you turn in the crown and that is where you get the first piece for the cleric epic but that is okay we are not going to go there now also if you want to and it's part of your epic quest for the monks you can come and talk to deep but it is not required she is someone that you will end up having to fight at the end of your epic quest for the monks and I think we are going to be passing by one of the areas that we are talking about for the cleric epic. I may be wrong. It may be on the other side, though. Let's see if we can get up on the hill, uh, on the hill here, and see if this is where the house is. Actually, it's just pushing us back into the water. It does not want us to find out. Okay, we need to be careful because we are still a level. This is not it. I do not know what it's up here. Actually, we can track. There is two people, and I do not trust them. So we are going to continue. Actually, you see over there, that is the island that I was talking about. You can go in on either side of the mountain, underwater, and you need to make sure that you have an enduring breath kind of item. That way you can make sure that you do not die from it. It is very bad if you die there. We're going to continue to track because we do want to make sure that there are no... Uh, goblins around us. Also, if you are traveling through here or if you are fighting in the uh, race mountains, you can stop here as the ogres. They are very weird because they do not attack you. They will actually be a merchant and they are talking weird, but that is okay. They are they are made that way by the relics of Zex. So it's you just need to talk to them. Don't really pay attention to what they say. Just buy info from them and go on your way before they crush you because they have all the strengths but we are not going to really deal with them because we made sure the bank and we bought some food water we also got some bandages before we left the Kinos area as you can see we are very <laughs> somebody mentioned that my that i am level three so i'm going to just say something i am a powerful Ranger, they call me the Strider. <laughs> that is very funny that they would actually mention me. Uh, just because I am so low level. Also be careful because you will find that there are orcs here. And they are actually probably around level 5 or level 6. But we are not going to mess with them because they will kill us. 
after you get past them there is another area that you need to stay clear of and you can see the little lamp there that is where we near that is where we are going it is a dock and up here you may or may not be able to see it but above where that light is there is a uh, two little homes and they are where the ogres are on the other side i think that is where bandits are so we want to make sure that when we get up there that we are going up on the um decide where all the ogres are even though it is scary at first if you've never come here before and you are a new person to the game and you see those ogres and you are not an ogre or an evil person you may be scared and may think that you should go to the other side but then that will get you killed if you're too low level so just be careful in that matter so we are going to track again and we do see the orc warrior it looks like there is only one on track so we are getting very far away from them and we are almost there and i do not know if we're swimming went up at all during this time if it did it was very low it was probably low, uh, it was probably one if any swimming is a very hard skill to get leveled up so you definitely want to make sure that you spend some time oh we just got a level swim, uh, level three in swimming so that is good. Once we get across here, we are going to be hitting the race mountains. And the race mountains, they are very... Hmm, they are very interesting. They have a lot of crazy things in there. So we want to talk about them, but we do not want to talk about them until we get there. Okay, we are almost to the ogres. And you can see, maybe, <laughs> I know that it is very dark. I am human. I do need to find a way to get a helmet that does not uh, make me so blind. But if you see over there, there is a little hut or a little tent thing. And that is where all the bandits are and we do not want to go near them. So we are, will go over here where the dock is. It's too bad that we couldn't go to the dock where we came in. But because there are the skeletons and during the day there are the gnolls, it is not safe for us either way. But we can take a boat if you are very slow at the swimming. And we may do that next time. Also, there is a way that you can get around if you do not want to walk everywhere, which we are going to do. We are going to walk everywhere. We are not going to take the teleports. Uh, but that is what you can do. You can take the, druid, the druids or the wizard teleports to also the places that we are going. But I feel we should learn the land. We should find out everything about it. So we are going to walk. And that way we, when we die, it really hurts even more. But that is more fun for us anyway. But that is okay. Here we are. We are almost to the land. It is taking forever. Oh my goodness. Just a few more little swimming swims, little cons. It's okay. You can do it. He is so slow. It is funny. So once we get out of here, we are going to go to the next area. But you can also do the warrior epic here, I believe. And I think also the mage epic starts here. There's all kinds of epics that are involved with this zone. Also, let me do a check over here with the tracking. You can see the boat. Uh, these are also tr uh, the ogres. If we got a little bit over here some more, I do not want to get killed, but, but we will check. Take a little looky, a little peek, and see if you can click on this individual. Yes, you can see those are our bandits. Now, bandits are level 10 to 12-ish, even higher sometimes. There is a brigand, and they are around level 15, I believe. If you kill the bandits, they do drop these little scoffy things, and you can turn those in in Kinos, and those give you the experience that way. Okay, we are now in the Wraith Mountains, and it can be very scary here, but I think what we are going to do is end the video, and next time we are going to finish going through this zone, also through the Ferret, and maybe even into the Insul Swamp. And hopefully, if we can, we will try to get through all the rows. But it really depends. It can take a long time, and we do want to kill things, because there are things that will attack us, and we do want to still try to get to the level 4 as soon as we can.